So in this session, we'll be starting with the concepts of growth. As we have earlier discussed that growth can be said when the cell is increased in mass or in the number. Now when you talk about living organisms, the living organisms could be unicellular, could be multicellular. But multicellular organism will only be growing in the mass, not with the number. If they will grow in the number, they will become multicellular. So for unicellular organism, there is this increase in mass and when it, once it is increased in mass, it divides into two. So basically you will have to understand and in a unicellular organism, the cell growth is because of the mass of the cell. When you talk about higher, uh, say multicellular organisms, the multicellular organisms could be plants, multicellular organisms could be animals. But when you talk about plant, the growth can go for unlimited time. There is no fixed particular period that after that particular period the plant will stop growing. But in animals there is a perfect stage after that animal cells don't grow. There may be repair, there may be regeneration but the growth will stop. So the animal growth very important it is determinant or limited because you can determine it is limited for a short while. So that growth is called determinant or limited but when you talk about plants the growth is indeterminate, unlimited in the way that is unique. So you will have to remember few things out here that the growth of plant is indeterminate, unlimited or unique and the growth of animals is determinate and limited. Now what we didn't talk about is the growth that we talked about is this is what the growth we will talk about in livings. But when you talk about the growth in non-livings, the growth in non-livings is also there. You must have seen the snow mountain growing. You must have seen the sand dune sizes growing. Like snow mountain was a certain short size. But after due, due to the deposition of some outside material, say ice and all, the mountain size has been grown up. So that, that is also growth because we talked about it is increase. And when the, the snow mountain is increasing, that is also growth. So the growth is also pre present in non-living organisms. The growth, when it should be defined for living, it should only occur in living. It should not occur in non-living. But you have seen the growth is happening in living as well as in non-living. So growth is not considered as the defining property. The question can be asked. They will give you all these characteristics which we have detailed about. They would ask you that which among the following properties are non-defining. Growth is one among the non-defining properties. Just saying growth, you cannot define non-livings uh, non or livings because the growth is present in both. But the growth is present in both. It is present in living. It is present in non-living. What are the differences? The growth in the living, like in our body, happens due to the increase of cellular content. It happens due to the cytoplasm increment. It happens due to the DNA doubling. So everything is getting doubled or everything is increasing from inside. So the growth here is happening from the inside of the body. In that context, the growth is called intrinsic. But you have seen like in snow mountains, the growth was happening when the snow mountain size was this. The ice was coming and depositing out. So the growth was happening externally. The growth was happening from the outside of the body. In that way, the growth is called extrinsic. Always remember this growth is intrinsic. Non-living growth is extrinsic. One more thing, when the mountain was like this size, when the mountain has grown such size, what can also happen, the mountain can come back to, the mountain can come back to this original size. You can come back to this particular size. So the growth of this particular mountain becomes reversible. The growth of mountain or any non-living things becomes reversible because they can come back to their own shape and sizes. But when we grow, we were the age of 4, now 14, maybe 24, maybe 44, all the time growing. But we cannot go back to the original shape and size. So the growth is living in irreversible. So remember these differences between the growth of livings and growth of non-livings. In the next session, we'll be detailing you about reproduction.